In today's video, I wanna to talk to all of my single brothers out there and tell you to avoid high maintenance women. Let's talk about it. to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, when you read about in the word and it talking about a man that does not provide, you know, for his family, especially his relatives, is worse than an infidel. That provision that a man provides is focused and centered around necessities. Okay, does that man provide food? Does that man provide uh, a shelter? Does that man provide, you know, medical attention? Does that man provide uh, clothes on your back? That's necessities. You know, as a man, if you choose the wrong woman and you have kids with her, that woman is going to deplete the inheritance that you are trying to uh, leave for your children's children. She's gonna insure it. And when I say a high maintenance woman, I'm talking about the very vain women because a lot of the stuff that the modern woman does is very vain. You know, there's some women out there to where they don't appreciate uh, and they're not as confident in their natural state with just basic hair products, you know, wearing their natural nails, you know, wearing their, their natural hair. They're not comfortable in that. They're not confident. Actually, a lot of them are very insecure. So what does that mean? You want to avoid the women that, okay, these women want to go get weave put in their hair you know, uh, the top of the line fake weave, top of the line vanity put in their head. They want to get it put in there by the beautician everybody's going to and charging the most. And here's the thing, when I'm breaking down this vanity, women will outright tell you that they want the freedom to be able to work a job and, and, and have a career but they want you to front all the bills and all the financials and them keep their money to themselves. And there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with a man being that 100% provider, but you have to make sure that you are not choosing an extremely vain woman because your provisions as a man is only gonna go so far. You see what I'm saying? Uh, an extremely vain woman could be uh, a woman that, you know, puts on makeup. You got to think about, you know, you got women out here that it is their daily routine uh, to put on a face full of makeup to go work at McDonald's, to go work at Walmart. You know, uh, I got to have my nails done. I got to have my feet done. And it's not like they going to go get uh, a clear coat or some pot. No, they ain't going to get that. They going to get fake nails, fake toenails, diamonds embedded on. You have to avoid hitching yourself to these vain women, high maintenance women. They will suck you dry financially. They will destroy an inheritance. You got women out here that think that they're good mothers because they put their kids in name brand clothes. Being a good mother is not uh, involved in that. Does your, does your child have properly fitting clothes? Does your child have shoes? This is the basics of provision. You got to understand, man, you got women out there that's too good to drive a Toyota Corolla with no kids. A man will say, man, I can provide you this Toyota Corolla and you can ride around this. It's got Bluetooth. It's got a radio. Some women feel like they're too good for that. They want you to provide them a Mercedes. They want you to, uh, you know, pay an exorbitant amount 
just for their worthless ass. They sorry, but I'm telling you, you got women out there that will, you know, nickel and dime you dry with their vanity. When you start looking behind the vanity that women like, you know, uh, these women always wanting to buy more clothes and all of this nonsense, man, they be wanting you to swipe for it as a man. These modern women are telling you, we don't want to spend our money. And they want you to be, uh, you know, slaving to take care of their vain self. And what I'm telling you is there's women out there that don't operate like that, but it's not common. It's not your average woman. Your average woman is very vain and they don't even see how vain they are. You've got women to where they get up in the morning and their hygiene is very good. They keep up very well with themselves. And then you have the high maintenance women that think the vanity and this high maintenance stuff is taking care of themselves. There's women out there that can use basic hair products, maintain their natural hair. You got some women that will file and do their own nails. You know, you got some women that uh, don't even like to put on makeup. These are the women that you want to hit yourself to. These are the women that you want to uh, vet and, and, and court. You got to understand a lot of these vain women, you know, when you look at their financial resource, a lot of these women are getting uh, assistance from places, from other men. This is why they nickel and down men. You got women making $30,000 a year, you know, got dead out the yin yang, but want to go to the mall and buy Mac makeup, want to buy top of the line weed want to go spend $150 to get her nails done. Want you to pay for it. This is the woman that you want to avoid. Avoid this woman that has that, uh, the outfit of a diva. You know what I'm talking about? The hair, the nails, always got to try to impress people that don't uh, pertain to their life or have any influence in their life. A lot of men get, get a lot of men get caught up because they lay down with a, a high maintenance woman and think that this woman is all of a sudden because you can't support her high maintenance lifestyle. Uh, they think that she's going to be frugal all of a sudden. No, you just planted a seed and, you know, a basic pair of shoes that you get from rack room shoes ain't going to be good enough for that child. If she has the child, she's going to want an exorbitant amount of money. And this is where I'm telling you, like, you gotta, you gotta quit looking at all that vanity as a man and, and be attracted to that. You're falling right into a snare. The Bible says vanity is worthless. It's worthless. Charm is deceitful and beauty is vain. And this is how men get sucked into these situations. I'm telling you to leave that woman alone and get, for the, get, get the woman that's a plain Jane. Nine times out of 10, the woman that is a plain Jane and is not as vain is potentially going to have a, 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 a more feminine spirit than a lot of these high maintenance, masculine women. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Wow.